fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Jump complete. Multiple hostiles. A couple of Colonial transponders also on the board. Colonial ship, this is Umbra Actual. We have weapons lock. Send confirmation codes. You have 10 seconds to comply. Admiral Kane, this is Galactica Actual. Confirmation codes are inbound. Wh the Admiral Kane? Frack me. Of course. Jubal sends the Golden Boy to keep tabs on his pet project. We're just here to pick up our Raptor pilots. We'll be out of your hair after that. Ah. <sighs> well, these toasters are keeping us from atmospheric entry. Clear these leftovers and we can finally add rescue to this s and op. I thought she was dead. Isn't she supposed to be dead? I'm on it, Commander. Launching alert, Vipers. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Missile tubes prepped. Launching fighters. Quadrant target. Solutions updated. Check your solutions before engaging. Quadrant target. Yes, Commander. about the Admiral back from the dead out here? She obviously survived the fall of Daedalus, and now she's out here at the head of a Black File Special Ops fleet. Fitting, really. How? Why? I'll leave the how for her to share, if she ever does. As for why, we needed someone out here with experience, and someone that no one would miss. She's already been written out of the history books. Who better to hide an entire fleet under her wing? Deploying countermeasures. Watch for clearance. 
so say we all. Got it. our boys have been down there? We first picked up their rescue beacon six hours ago. If they were trained for the conditions down there, they might still be alive. Neither of them had any idea. The senior's six weeks out from finishing his tour. The other is straight out of flight school. They're missing the proper confirmation beacons, so we're assuming their marine handlers are dead. I hope your rook and retiree know how to defend themselves. Mr. Fastjevic is resourceful. I'll be interested to find out what's become of the doctor. No sign of her beacon, so she's also assumed KIA. Whatever death she suffered was too kind. So say we all. So say we all. Yes, Commander. So say we all. Yes, Commander. Missile tubes prepped. Got it. Got it.
Missiles incoming. Defender is taking damage. Optimize firing. Defender is taking damage. Missiles in. We're gonna hammer the frackers until they can't get back up. Yes, Commander. Got it. Order received. Clean up and de escalate. That got him, Commander. That's right, Tracker. That's right. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. One more good salvo ought to do it. Actual save to mop up and prepare for extraction. Missile tubes prepped. All Cylons are down. Runway is clear for birds to break out though. Do you need more feet on the ground? I can send First Sergeant Larson and her squad if needed. Don't bother. Praetor Agathon's team will more than suffice. We will join you aboard Galactica presently with whatever is left of your Raptor crew. Umbra Actual out.
Update on the 909 crew and sick bay. Fashevik is critical with a gunshot wound, currently being stabilized. The rookie is stable but unconscious. Not a single infomarine alive. And no sign of Dr. Kelly. The bullet we pulled out of your ECO was colonial. I don't think the doctor played her part quietly. But the transmission did go out. Most of it? Enough for the toasters to take the bait. We were already hitting Tilium refineries in Sector 14 by the time the Cylons responded. You're lucky we found your pilots when we did. They were more of Clothis's experiments in the resort. It looked like a slaughterhouse in there. Fract if I know what it's trying to do. Your assistance in finding them is appreciated, Praetor. We'll leave you to your work out here and prep for jump. Time for our two heroes to go back to Pycon for treatment. You can't jump back, Silas. You're out here now. You're a part of the Ghost Fleet. That's the whole point of this operation. Once a ship has joined the fleet, it stays out here until mission complete, or we're all dead. You knew that. Sarkis knew that when he gave you the challenge codes. This mission is too important to let anyone compromise us with their jump history. We're standing on the deck of a battle star. There's nothing you could do if we decide to leave. I wouldn't count on that. But even so, your commander there will be in direct contravention of Article 43 of the External Security War Act. Sarkis will be forced to act on his pet legislation, and Silas here will be processed and sentenced as a traitor, just like anyone else that tries to run from this post. It's not fair, I know. He should have told you. You'd think out of anyone, we'd have learned that you can't trust a favor from Jubal Sarkis. At least let me send my injured pilots back. They let you have your surprise attack. They shouldn't die in a sick bed as their reward. Give me their service numbers. I'll see what I can do. Now, if there's nothing else, welcome to Ghost Fleet. Next briefing is in 15 minutes. <laughs>